I think for somebody that's starting out in camping, you know, and wild camping, this really is a, a fantastic option. And people will say it's not for season and things like that. Well, I've seen photographs, and if I can get them, I'll post them up on this, this video, where folk have used these in the Alps, and it's performed great. And it's also a tent that's, when I used it, had very little condensation because of the vent system. So, enough rambling. I'm going to set this up and we'll see how quick it pitches. And as I say, I'll show you around it.
another uh, tent that has quite a wide elasticated uh, stone flap over the zip and there's a heavier material you know the rip stop so you've got that added weight but again it's actually very very strong when they test this tent at the factory they put it on a rotating plate and they've had it up to 40 mile an hour winds no problem so you know the majority of people aren't going to be out in 40 mile an hour winds but it's good to know that it's uh, you know capable of you know, withstanding some serious abuse all the seams are taped and just open up this side so you've got your toggles here for your door The inner tent has got you know, a thinner waterproof material and then obviously your, your mesh and then your you know, windproof section lower down as well. And quite a substantial you know, bathtub. Another thing about this tent is the you know, the stitching and the robustness of a lot of the points is quite impressive for a tent of this price, it really is uh, the attention to detail is really, really quite good what I'll do is I'll open this door here It's actually nicer than this L-shaped zip system uh, It makes uh, getting in and out easier than a lot of other tents But what we'll do is we'll go inside and you know, have a look So you have your mesh on this door here on the other side But this door is really just for getting in and out, there's no actual storage space on that side uh, it's just really for a second occupant getting in and out but as for space for you know two people it's actually really quite good or one person it's really really spacious for one person oh. I mean this is me at the door and I mean, there's loads of headroom and obviously space for a second person or you could have your rucksack in here with you and as I say, the way that the vent is all your breath is going up the way towards that vent and you've got obviously that's quite high your wind protection with the second layer from the inner tent you've also got your pocket here for all your bits and bobs and the manufacturing, the stitching that goes into this is quite, quite elaborate and again it's very very well done and for £109 it's, it's really really is quite impressive it crossed my mind that had they come up with a slightly smaller version of this they'll maybe take in just you know, 500 mil off this side you'd have had one crack in one man tent it would have been an absolute blinder you know for the money and it would have given some of the, the big boys a run for the money as far as I'm concerned and you've got plenty of space for a rucksack you know, stone your gear and obviously you could have your rucksack inside as well Double uh, points on the poles to stop them you know, flexing. So that's uh, just a quick look at the quick hiker, and I did make a bit of a meal setting up because it's the first time I've done it in a while, and I was trying to be smart and 
I'd caught the pole going through. Uh, so it should have been a bit quicker than it was. That's uh, not a reflection on the tent, that was just me being a, a Muppet. So, I think it's a great tent for the money and considering what I've spent recently on tents, I might actually tweak this one and use it a lot more than you know, what I've been looking at. Hi folks, I'm at uh, Benglass campsite which if any of you have done the uh, West Highland Way are probably familiar with. So I decided to bring along the Quick Hiker 2 from Decathlon just to try out and me and the wife are going to spend the, the evening in it and we'll see what it's like for condensation and livability. As I said in my quick kind of review or overview of the tent, uh, it's quite a capable tent for the money. So we're going to go and do a little bit of exploring and I'll show you the tent in the morning and we'll just see how it fares. Right folks, <coughs> I've got the two mats in here. Uh, one of the mats is the my winter X bed and I've got the like the medium sized uh, X bed. So I've also got this new Van Gogh Venom 400. So I'm going to compare. I'll sleep in this tonight and the wife will be in the, my winter one. And I'm going to see how this is for this time of year and see how it compares to my winter sleeping bag. So that's basically the setup for tonight and yeah we'll see how it all gets on. This is uh, morning and the two of us have spent the night in the tent and it's performed a lot better than the, the Southern Cross. There's a little bit of condensation but that's, you know, nothing compared to the last trip. So I'll pan the camera around and I'll show you some of the bits and pieces. It's started to rain but you know a lot of these panels are that's actually on the outside. Yeah. A lot less condensation than what I previously had. And sleeping bags this uh, new Venom four hundred was pretty good as well. And it's bone dry. So I think this big air vent at the back here makes all the difference in regards to airflow and keeping the condensation down. Uh, during the night I think it was must have got close to freezing and the clouds coming down it started to rain. It was forecast to rain in the morning. That's it. And I'll hand you back over to the original review. So if you're new to the wild camping, this could be a, an excellent option for you, uh, especially if you're doing it on a budget and don't have hundreds and hundreds of pounds to spend on, you know, the latest and greatest. As I say, I've used this tent and I still rate it. And after my experience with the Southern Cross, I actually rate this tent better, to be quite honest. And as I say, at the price point, it's just fantastic. Everything about it is really, really good. Uh, and when we're on about weight here, uh, okay, you could get a, a one-man Terra Nova or a Van Gogh or Hilleberg and things like that, and they weigh 1.4 kilograms or 1.2 or 1, but I'm getting to the point where I would prefer to have the extra little bit of weight and a bit more comfort. As I say, this is 1.9 kilograms. It's not back breaking uh, by any means. And it's, once you've pitched it a couple of times, it really is a doddle. I didn't, as I say, I didn't do it justice. And you could lighten it with a few tweaks here and there. 
one of the other th things that they seem to do is it's not just that, it's all the components that come with it are really good uh, if I get one here even their, their tent pegs you know, the, these are, uh, dark uh, lightweight pegs are actually very, very good and I used them when I was setting up my Southern Cross so you know, a lot of the other tents that will come with these more like knitting needles than anything else they've seemed to have thought of a lot of, lot of things uh, the other people just, you know skimp on or you know, ignore so when you're taking all, all aspects of the tent it's quite an impressive package so it's a great all round tent ideal for 2-3 season use wouldn't use it in the winter because of the uh, snow loading issues obviously in this large panel here but you know, for two people getting away or one person that's wanting a bit of space then yeah, I, th I don't think it can be beat it really can't at the price point so that's just another quick tent look round and I've also got my eyes on another tent so <laughs> but as I say I got this one for uh, my daughter to use with her friends when she goes away with the scouts but I might actually use it and do a few camps with it just to show people its capabilities but yeah certainly one to you know look out for especially if uh, you're new to the wild camping